down here at uh, Budley, Solden and Beach and I've run into uh, Simon here. Hi there, I'm Simon, Simon Wood, and Budley Beach is my playground. I fell in love and came to Budley nearly 20 years ago, fell in love with the pebbles. There's about six different colours of pebbles here and over time I realised I could make pictures with them and some years ago I realised I could make towers. too windy. Excellent. I mean that. <laughs> you need so much patience. This is fabulous. The story of the Ammonite fossil comes from my book, Folk Tales of Rock and Stone. In the story, I wanted to explore the process of fossilisation, but also to think about what had happened to this curious bit of stone over the centuries uh, since it was uh, left on a beach. Um, I also wanted to look at some of the legends, or a legend, that had been told about stones and fossils, trying to explain them in days when people didn't understand evolution. I'm Jo Burlington. I'm an artist and I run Oops Wow Messy Art. Last autumn I did a series of workshops for two to four year olds on beaches in West Dorset. These pictures are from a session on Charmouth Beach where we used the pebbles. We arranged them into lines according to colour. So we had an orange line, a white line, a black purple and a stripy line. Toddlers love to sort and arrange things, don't they? It's a real stage they go through. And everyone else loves it too. It's a great way to connect and look more closely at where you are. Pebbles are so absorbing, all the different colours and then you notice so many of the same colour and all the wonderful patterns like little abstract paintings. Standing back and looking at what we had done, we all loved how the lines that we made seemed to echo the lines in the cliff behind. I'm working with the National Trust to do some more sessions like these and starting in March there will be monthly sessions for two to four year olds on Hive Beach. Go to the Oopswell website for more info. Welcome to my studio in Seaton and here are some of the pebbles that inspire my work. Not necessarily the shape of the pebble but their um, textures, the lines in them and I find it absolutely fascinating how different they all are. They're like each one is a gem and if I scan over here you can see my pin board with some of the work and I'll show some stills of these in a minute. <laughs> 